As everywhere, the Second World War concentrated mines, bringing a huge burst of defensive works in record times and at enormous cost. The vital Royal Naval Control Centre in Portland Dockyard was exposed and vulnerable, so a top-secret emergency HQ and communication centre was built underground within the foot of the hill. Access to this was via two pairs of tunnels leading to the various command rooms. The duplicated tunnels, of course, were to ensure escape should one entrance become blocked. This hidden centre was completed by 1943. Being a major naval base with one of the world's biggest man-made harbours, there was a great need for fuel storage for HM ships of the Royal Navy. From 1904 to 1923, a range of enormous cylindrical fuel oil storage tanks was built to supply the naval vessels near Chuzzle Beach at the southwest corner of the harbour. However, as the Second World War loomed, these were conspicuous targets and vulnerable to attack by enemy aircraft, so the Admiralty rapidly drew up plans to create a huge secret underground fuel storage facility. Deep under the great Victorian Verne Citadel on the summit of the Isle of Portland, in 1939 contractor Sir Robert McAlpine started constructing a vast range of tunnels to store fuel pumped up from the jetties. A 150 metres long entrance tunnel led to four vast linear reservoirs, each 300 metres long and 80 metres below the hilltop. An escape tunnel, also 150 metres long, with a separate entrance was built as a vital safety component. Tunnelling work was well advanced when one of Dorset's most catastrophic wartime disasters occurred, below the hill in Portland Harbour. In July 1940, the anti-aircraft ship Foilbank was attacked and sunk in the harbour by waves of Stuka dive bombers, killing 176 men of the crew. The tragic story of that event is widely known. Men working in the tunnels overheard the commotion. Then, after believing the raid was over, some of the workers emerged from safety to see what all the noise was about, only to be caught when one of the enemy planes returned and released a parting bomb or strafed fire. Tragically, 13 civilians were killed, including four teenagers, and many were injured. In the dark and haunting atmosphere of the tunnels, it is easy to imagine the spirits of those tragic local men who never returned home. Oh, I see, yeah. These, uh, the, you know, this cliff side is, well, the hillside is yeah. very unstable, but yeah. of course they're, they're in so far now. That, uh, yeah. Access to it for maintenance. That's a 
heavy crew door. Oh well, here is it? No, no. I suppose we can get to uh, is that a shaft. Yeah, that's, that's going up to the tank. That's going to the tank. Here in 2001, a tank specialist was cleaning the emptied reservoirs ready for the reuse of the tunnels for bunker oil for vessels of the now civilian Portland Port. It was a rare, very brief window of opportunity to explore it. Yeah, yeah. All right, I see. So there's two, there's, there's two access shafts yeah. there, basically. The exit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Try and fill them. Yeah. What are the wires for there on the side? The cage? No, the, there's two wires going down at the side. Well, there's two wires there. Oh, it's a Yeah, it's a lift. It's to pull stuff up. Right. right. And in, oh, you're, in the other yeah. tank, uh, see this here? This is to raise the arm. The arm? Of yeah. When you go inside, yeah. you'll see it. Right, OK. Page after the first ten feet. Eight, eight, eight. Mm. It's incredible. We don't need scaffolding with that jet wash. No, no. You reach that, see? It's not much around the fuel. 40,000 tonnes. Okay. That's not a lot. Not really not. This, this one holds 20, 24, 25,000 tonnes. What's that arch made of there? Is that concrete? No, yeah, concrete there. All, all concrete. That's cast. It's all cast there. Yeah. And they put concrete and slabs in it, though. Right, I see, yeah. That's it still works inside. Yeah, but yeah, still lining. There's the oil. See the oil line? That's as far as the oil went. Cool. Many of the tunnel lining segments were embossed with the date of manufacture. So it was in, in use continuously from 39, you know, like 39 up to the minute. You protected it. You can't hot wash these. You can't what? Hot wash them. You can't. Got a cold wash them because what they're what's behind there, the oil that's seeped out into there, yeah. is now used. 
is a sealant. Right. Yeah, it's Where gone. it's gone solid, yeah. it's gone, it's used there to it's, it's a, That's right, yeah. So nothing gone. will go out right. through there. Mm. It's area jet wash now. So you've got to cold wash it. Yeah, cold so what do you do? How do you get the gunge out then? Right. That's on. <laughs> 10 degrees slow. Right? Yeah. What we do, we're going to start washing it here. Wash this way up. Right. Right? Yeah. And then as we're washing it, clean and straight out. Because if we go up there, start at the back, we'll have 20 tonnes. Well, in, in front of it all the time. Yeah. Up, That's right. Then you'll have to dig it. Yeah. So we have a tanker, suck it. And we'll pump. We go, go, go out, out through this. Yeah, how was? We're going to put a big um, pump in here. Mm -hmm. Right. Here, this is something. When the water runs in, it runs into there. Right. Like that there is a water suction pipe. Yeah. yeah. Right? So we're going to put my pump into there mm -hmm. yeah. and have it run a continuous bubble washing. Yeah. So all you're going to get is the water that's in there yeah. all the time. Mm. Yeah. That's right. But as you say, it's not too bad anyway, is it? No, it's pretty clean. Look, if, yeah. you, if you look at this, the time you wash that, It is enormous, as you say, vast. That was an open, open shaft, that's right. Yeah. Last piece they built. Yeah. I wonder what they did with all the clay. They took it out. Ah, these banks are... The echoes carry on for ages, don't they? Yeah. Echo. Hello. Oh, it's been lit up in here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. No, I can't. They, they seem to have done their homework on the environmental side and everything. Was he complaining about this potential spillage? I suppose right. was he? I mean, they used to yeah, refuel really ships all the time, and yeah. uh, this is this is no, and things have moved on anyway. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do? We're going to put we're going to tie it on at the top. We're going to put a bar across here, yeah. pull here. Yeah. With a straight run. Yeah. And look it on here. Yeah. Do you? There's no air. There's nothing. No. Uh, we've got the uh, oil residue. Stay here. I said, yeah, I don't want to take any of that. No, that's right. Yeah. You stay in the sump area. Yeah. But if you should go where that beam is, you yeah. the you'd collapse halfway up. Would you? Yeah. So what are you going to do? You're going to take your... We take your explosive and everything, air breathing mm. and all. Yeah. But I will have air blowing in here. Yeah. Like a wind tunnel. You that's know that right. big machine out in the tunnel? Yeah. Blue thing. What yeah. we're going to do, we poke it through that hole there, so we got a Gale Force 10 blowing through it. Right, yeah.
Is there any outlet for the air at the other end? Only a vent point. There's a vent, there is a vent point. Yeah, but the vent point, which is there, right? Yeah. That's the vent. Right. They've only got one, one vent point for all four tanks. Well, that's illegal, isn't it? I see, right. Well, they're going to put in new vent points. Yeah. Separate vents. Mm. Yeah. By the by, the plan they showed down there, the the these go right into the centre of the Ver, run straight right down from the Verne. Right in the prison. Yeah. Right underneath. Yeah. I had no idea it went went that far. This is the original home. It's already known stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they've done the health and safety. They've allowed us to be able to put scaffolding on it. What do you want to scaffold? See the date on there, 18th. Yeah, all August 1940. Yeah. Yeah, they're all numbered. Yeah. Every one of them. Yeah. It's got different numbers on. That's right. I can see that. 29, 1940. Yeah. Second 39, see, yeah. it's all individually right. made. Yeah. And they got brick lining here. Yeah. And they got that in the tanks. I see. Yeah. And well, they could just got it in parts here, then, and not the, not the rest. I suppose that's a test, I think, when they Maybe. go yeah. and test it in. Mm. Yeah, with the standard pressure. Yeah. Still the Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't reckon many people know this is here. No, this is not the size of it. Well, a chap down who was a diver for the dockyard, who's worked in the dockyard for nearly 50 years, diving, yeah. Yeah. he didn't even know about this. <laughs> well, it's top secret, this was. That's right, yeah. Mm. I went down uh, last year, I went down the tunnels from the um, grassies up near the Verne. Yeah. Um, that was quite impressive too. Of course, there's a lot of fire damage down there, the RAF control centre, isn't it? That would be a nice tourist, tourist uh, attraction if they could have done it up, but it's probably too far gone now. And the European tank. 117 metres? It's a fantastic place, isn't it? Their um, main uh, officers are just up the road here, they be. Oh, gunnery placements. Yeah, yeah.
railway bridge. What, just here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see the... Quiet. It's in the song. No. That's all there, isn't there as well?